Okay, so luminosity. Okay, so luminosity. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pee Wee Herman. That still isn't here. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, that's coming too close. This. Hey Nev. Hey did you see that? <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Rashi Berry from Columbia University. Welcome to Daily Physics today, our episode thirteen, and our topic is luminosity, flux, and luminous intensity. Just like every day, we're going to give you three levels of understanding. I myself going to keep it high school level. I'm going to invite Shubhano Isaac to give you an undergraduate level uh, understanding. Welcome, Shubhano. Hi. Are you frozen? Um, uh, um, probably. And I'm going to invite Raf Bari to give you a graduate level understanding. Welcome, Raf. You take a bulb and the sun, right? So the the bulb brightness and sun brightness. The bulb is about 100 watt and the sun is about 3.8 times 10 to 26 watt. What is then luminosity? Luminosity is... What is the definition? The, intrin of the, the intrinsic brightness of a source. Of a source, okay. The intrinsic it's, it's... brightness of a source. At that point, just say it's brightness. Okay. No, because brightness. Don't try to hope you're distance. not understanding what? in fancy, dense words. Just say, I don't know what okay, it is. Just but because I'm gonna guess you don't know. Because the luminosity is not of... the synonym of brightness. Okay, just because you don't understand basic physical hey, you're terminology. Me. That just doesn't because... mean I can't use them. It is a light bulb, okay? And we're going to try to understand the luminosity. What is the luminosity? The joule per second, right? So joule per second. All right. So yes, it's the joules of electromagnetic radiation that something is emitting in total per second. Okay. So that means the what? So what is the SI unit for luminosity? The light bulb, let's say it is 100 watt. If it is sun, for example, let's talk about sun. If it is sun, all right. So sun emit, what happened? Emit um, what? It's emitting light in all directions. All but what direction you're emitting light in doesn't matter. And then you're calculating luminosity. If someone is standing 1.5 times 10 to 11 meter away from the sun, that means you are standing on the earth. Okay. The bright. No, it could also mean you're standing anywhere in Earth's orbit. Probably. So. Where do you see? What do you call it? This is called flux, right? Mm -hmm. Which flux is going to measure more? The brightness? one close to the sun. Okay, so that's the, that. Oh, yeah, of course. That flux is going to measure more brightness than this flux. Why is that? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Whoa, 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 Spread whoa, 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 Right. Stop using fancy words. Our audience is in eighth grade. All right. So, Raf, I know you're scared of this. Okay. Trigger I know warning. you're specifically of... in eighth grade. Yeah. All right. So, no, no. Just, just try to cover confused. your ears because I know you're scared of this one. All right. So, you can imagine the light that the sun gives out like a shower. I'm so sorry for exposing you to that word, Raf. But you can imagine it like a shower of light instead of water. Yes, Raf. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, as you can see, if you're closer to the shower head, you're going to capture more of the water because it hasn't had any time to spread out yet. That's why but, I that's why I jump up when I take shower. The sun. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? And and that's why since the sun emits light the same in all directions, what ref likes to code in fancy words like isotropically. Since the sun emits the same amount of light in all directions, as it spreads out, if you're going to take a surface farther from the sun with the same area... Put the equation for flux. L over 4 pi r squared. Can you find the flux? Can you find the flux? Uh, what would be the... Let's first Let's... talk about why it's L over 4 pi r squared. Okay, so I'm going to open it for... Um... For Isaac, so Isaac gonna give an undergraduate um, explanation. He is spending two minutes. He gonna first uh, explain the luminosity and then flux and then luminous intensity. 
and then we're going to take you to the graduate student Brown University. Isaac, you have all... Oh, also known as the failure at Brown University. <laughs> okay, Isaac, you have all the attention. All right. Not a rest attention. It's too much of a failure to give attention to anything. No, I'm just Loading ChatGPT. <laughs> um, ChatGPT, how do I call this guy an idiot without getting my video banned from YouTube? By oh. not calling him, by not, by calling him genius? Mm, it's not in my capacity to lie. <laughs> okay, so first of all, oh, my marker's dead. Just ah, like so let me explain for I'll, you. I'll, I'll give ah, you so let me explain for you. Okay, buddy, don't get too carried away with spreading misinformation. I know you love doing it. Okay, so luminosity. Okay, so luminosity. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, Pee Wee Herman. That still isn't here. You. <laughs> you know. Okay, that's coming too close. This. Hey, did you see that? Okay, luminosity. It's just the total amount of radiation or electromagnetic radiation to be specific, commonly known as light, that an object is giving out in joules per second. Luminosity. Uh, okay, yeah, what are Not we looking... Not to be confused with luminous intensity, which, despite the name, a very stupid name, in fact, it's a totally different quantity measured in totally different units than joules per second. Whoa. So, next, flux. Flux is not exclusive to light. There's electric flux, magnetic flux, hell, gravitational flux. You want to really get funky with it. Oh, All what are you? I, really what are you listing? Luminosity flux, flux and luminous intensity. Oh, I see. All okay, I, I thought. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay I, thought, I thought. I thought you were listing all the things you don't understand. No, that would be you. That would be you. Isaac, you so, have two. You have two more minutes because I have only ten minutes. I'm sorry. Yeah, and guess who caused only having ten minutes? Go ahead. Go ahead. Talking about Coldplay. Go ahead. <laughs> so it's just the measure of how much of a field is going through a specific area over time. Now, light is cool because unlike all the other funky fields like electricity or you are not considering stuff like relativity, light goes in an approximately straight direction. And since we're considering a very simple case, one solitary light source from which the field is being emitted outward, the light strength is simply going to decline like any other very simple field. Because we are working in 3D, and light is being emitted isotropically, as the fancy word user likes to say. Then the total flux, which is just the total light per unit area, is going to be all of the light divided by the area of the sphere, the surface area. L over 4 pi r squared. Finally, let's talk about luminous intensity, which for some stupid reason totally different than luminosity. Yes, I thought they were the same thing. L too, over 4 pi. Can you shut up? Thank you. Yes, I thought they were the same thing too until I started doing the research for this episode. So luminous intensity depends on the stupid thing that we call a solid angle, right? So basically, let's say you have a sphere right over here. Isaac, and one minute. You look upward. Now, your field of view is small because we're humans, hopefully. Which means that since your field of view is probably, let's say, six, uh, 30 degrees left, 30 degrees right, Yes, that's not the normal human field of vision, but, you know, I'm making assumptions here. Sure, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 45 degrees left, 45 degrees right. Then, this angle right here 
is the solid angle. So, all luminous intensity is, is the light per solid angle, where solid angle is this thing over here, which is much different than light per unit area because of the funky way that solid angles and light uh, area works. So solid angle is actually measured in a totally different unit called steradian. Also, also... It's actually pronounced steradians. I said that! Also, I know, also, I was just saying it. It depends on the frequency or wavelength of the light. But if you have five minutes, yeah. Okay, great. So uh, now that we've uh, heard uh, the so, mistakes... No, luminosity, can... no, you have to do luminosity flux. Now and... that we've heard the mistakes, just another lie. Go ahead, luminosity, luminosity, flux, and luminous intensity. Go ahead, baby. Okay, so... Everything he's about to tell you is a lie. Okay, conspiracy theorist. Okay, so let's start off with luminosity. Lu... Okay, well, it, it's not about how you spell it. <laughs> let's, let's just write the word, luminosity. You got some severance on your mind, huh? <laughs> okay, luminosity uh -huh. is about. Uh -huh. Do that stupid fucking <laughs> buck tooth laugh again, and I'm going over to braille myself and kicking the shindigs out of you. Hey, who is going to run uh, physics? Who is going to brown physics? Who is going to brown their pants in a few minutes? You. Okay, so let's say we have some kind of a light light source. Oh, God, man. Okay, this could be the uh, the sun or a, a light bulb, and it emits um, the same way in every direction, okay? So it emits isotropically. And it emits the same way in every direction. They oh already know what isotropically I'm gonna means. Kill you. you can use that word now, goddammit. God <laughs> damn you. <laughs> okay. <Let's... laughs> Let's use a different word. Homogenous, okay? Uh, how much? No. You uh, don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay, okay. I'm going to give a graduate level under understanding. So you can approximate the luminosity of the sun. Uh, luminosity. What What are the units of luminosity? The units are watts, and that means luminosity is energy per unit time. So that means if I write it in SI units, this would be joules per unit second. So. If you want to approximate the luminosity of the sun, you can actually do that very easily. Luminosity is just like power. How much work do you do over time? How much energy do you have do over time? And the luminosity of the sun- Are you through sure this is a graduate by... level understanding, bro? You're copying everything I did, but worse. The luminosity of the sun is given by a very simple equation called the Stefan Boltzmann equation. So it depends on the surface Did you just write death on the board in really bad handwriting? <laughs> the Luminosity of the sun depends on its surface temperature, which is about 6,000 degrees Kelvin, and the surface area of the sun. So you look like a freaking gopher. God. Yeah, that's what you look like. I'm trying to imitate you. Isaac, he has three minutes. Come on. So this is luminosity. Okay, the Dad, what was the next concept? Uh, flux. Flux, yeah. Man, stupid. Yes, it was flux, and after that, luminous intensity. There. So, your ghost's brain got it. Now let's flux. talk... Now let's talk about flux. So flux, luminosity does not depend on your distance from the sun. It doesn't depend. So if you are looking at the sun from here or from here, the luminosity will stay the same. Yes. Luminosity is an intrinsic brightness. Flux depends on your distance from the source. Because the source is emitting radially in all directions, that means if you imagine a sphere, imagine you, you have a sphere, and then you carve You're just copying me! Isaac, 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 he has two minutes. Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah. So if you carve out a sphere, imagine that you are R meters away from the sun at point A and two R meters from the sun at point B. Yeah. At the second point, you will receive four times less light. Why? Because the flux... Oh, that's where, that's where the four that's where the four pi come from. That's no, that's not where from. it comes from. So, yeah, the, that's the, where the four comes from. So, no, the derivation of a sphere surface area is not does not have anything to do with that. No, the four comes from if I plug in 
So, no, the four comes from integration. The four comes from the surface area of a sphere, which comes okay. from integration. You didn't invent calculus. I did. Yes, I did. So I ask. am the reincarnation of Isaac uh, Isaac Nan, or whatever his name was. I forgot. So, if I... Ramanuja. Ramanujan? He invented gravity? Okay, so... If I plug in 2R over here, you can see the flux will be one-fourth of the flux at point A. So the flux at point B will be one-fourth of the flux at point A because light has to see the light is spread out over a greater surface area at point B than at point A. Yeah. So that, that's the idea behind flux. Maybe you have one minute. Can you finish it? Isaac, please don't oh, discuss yeah. it anymore. Okay, the final concept is uh, luminous intensity. Right. So uh, luminous intensity, the idea is simple. Um, so the idea of luminous intensity is not, it's not about um, what, what is the total brightness of a source. It's about how much light is passing through a certain area. Imagine you have a flashlight. No, that's Don't, radiance. That's a radiance. That's, that, radiance. that's still radiance. That's, e what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. So You're talking about radiance. You're not talking about luminous intensity. The luminous e intensity is the luminosity divided by four pi, and this gives you uh, this gives you this has units of radiance. So that means if I have a light source at the center, uh, the luminous intensity will tell me how much how much of the light is passing through one steradian. One steradian is like this solid angle. One it's it's uh, similar to one degree, but in three dimensions for a sphere. So that's, that's wrong. That's 